Hello there, this is Malak and welcome to episode 23 of my Let's Play XCOM. Um, I'm just going to get right in the action. We've got some bits and bobs to kill and that floater there is not in a good position. Mostly because I can flank him and shoot him. Well, hopefully shoot him anyway. There we go, that's the ticket. Um, Zaren, I want you to move to there and go on overwatch Mimi lol you can well there's a gravestone there which provides you some cover at least then you can take a pot shot at that stupid floater I'm actually really surprised you hit that that was a really tricky thing to hit I'm not complaining Ah yes, the old um, snarly, growly thing. Let's bring everyone... No, I keep clicking on that dead floater. Okay, Zaren, proceed to that location. I've got a visual. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's the big boys! And they're scattering for cover quite nicely, actually. Um, at this distance, what have you got? You've got a minus 16 with your um, with your gun, which is a bit crap, but... You could always take a double shot, couldn't you? Or you could move again and fire again. No, no, that's just suicide. <laughs> Planning you up for suicide here, Zaren. Don't you don't you worry yourself about it. <clears throat> I want you to hunker down for now. Get your head down. Not in a sexual way either. Um, okay, suppress that. Dead in the water here, Commander. Okay, Medi boy. You get into position. We need you in the fight. Amimilal. You too. Probably. Okay, let's get you behind that bench and put you on Overwatch. Incoming fire. Puh, pathetic. Okay, you're out of ammo. However, you're not out of ammo with all your guns. How about a nice explosion? You see, I like to think that we want to send them a gift. A welcome gift. A shining, glowing, welcome orb. And then you really need to reload. Hoorah! <laughs> Now they're completely exposed. Yes, yes, I know you need a resupply, but you're just going to have to hold the hell on. Oh, 60% chance of critical if I hit with a 70% chance of hit. Oh, well that's what happens when you get hit by a rocket launcher and don't have any cover. Stupid. <laughs> okay, I'd, I'd be very tempted to... See, that'll dash you into position. Oh, well, you know what? What the hell? You're good. So, now nah, you've got lightning reflexes. They can't hit you. You're too fast, Aaron. You're too fast for them with your mantis reactions. No, it wasn't. You're fine. Oh my god, I think I just destroyed the very cover you were running to. Oh, no, no, it's just, just horribly mutilated cover. Okay. So it's a 76% chance, or two lots of 61% chance. Take it. Take those double shots. Oh, you better hit with this one. How the hell did you miss both of those? Zaren, you're going down in my opinion again now. I, you know, I used to think you were pretty cool, but... Actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> That's just a bit... Sorry, that was a bit low. Oh, God, you can't see from there. 
Okay, Zaren. Um, I hope your armor takes this because you're about to get your. Oh, here we go. Oh, good hit! Nice. They're starting to lose ground. Oh, I bet they are. They've just shat themselves. Stupid moot on soldiers. Who think they are? Green to go. Let's do this. Reloaded. Honestly, it is just a reload fest at the moment. Back in. Okay, Zaren, I want you, which is uncharacteristic for me, I want you just to hold on a little bit before you start running off into the distance. Because I know you're very eager to, to, you know, bravado and all that, but for now, I want you to just hold on while we catch up and provide you the support you need. God, if that, if that thing reappears now, it's screwed. That was probably a, a mutant soldier crapping itself. How the hell did we not spot them until now? So Mr. Mutant Soldier's got some friends. And, and Zaren destroyed a tomb. Yeah, I think... <laughs> well, that's one way of flushing them out. Let's just vaporise all the cover that they run for. Can't hit them, but we can destroy all the cover. Well, we can reduce it the cover's effectiveness anyway. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, right. I want you to head to there. And I want you to suppress that sucker. Suppressing. Out of rounds. Nah, not yet, you know. Suppression's weird. That's it. Scare you. Wow, you're, you're shooting around that. God, look at that. That thing's really going to be crapping itself now. Got one percent chance of hitting that. Twelve percent chance. Of well, I, I could I could charge you forward into a position of certain death, probably. Um, I could dash you there. That's half cover. What 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 more cover do you want? Actually, Zaren, I'm going to put you on Overwatch. I think. Actually, then again, let's just take a shot. Let's scare something. Let's scare it good. No, have a watch. You've got cover there. You've got decent cover. That one's suppressed. Ah, you're suppressed, dude. Your um, your your aiming skill is going to be weakened. Wow, that one wasn't. Okay, you retreat behind there. Back in. Reload. Alchemist? No. Mimi lol. You, I want you into uh, into position now. Take the shot. Teach him. Teach him to respect authority or or something. Rubbish. Target still up. Ah, oh, come on. Adjusting sights. Come on, Zaren. Oh, come on. I expected you to hit it. Oh, and now your friend's back. And it's... Well, it's joining its friends, basically. Strength in numbers or something. Oh, God, it's flanking us. That's not good. Although it's... 
doing some strange blood call thing. I don't know what the blood call does, but I don't like it. I'm all right. We need to close in on them. We really do need to close in. Um. Okay, Zaren, you're not closing in on those because you're just going to end up getting yourself killed. So, we're getting flanked. This is not good. Okay, I want you to head to that tombstone and start suppressing. Oh, that was a good side effect of suppression. 55% chance with a good critical chance. Take the shot. Oh, right in the chin! Okay, no point even suppressing it now, but hey, you know, that's what we're doing. You can't see anything. Overwatch. You can. Wow, you've got... Ri oh, because it's the laser pistol. You could just scare them a little bit, maybe. 32% chance with the uh, the big gun. I'm just thinking, is there a position you can get in which is going to provide you with sufficient cover not to get your face torn off? I mean, run and gun, that's going to give you a good shot. And run and, yeah, what the hell. You've got the mega armor. You've got the mega armor. Take it. Take the shot. Fifty percent chance. And you've got two shots. On average. Just the law of averages says you should hit one. Well. Sort of. There's certainly a seventy-five percent chance, give or take, that you will hit with at least one shot. And then you've got a seventy-five percent chance of a critical like that. Oh nice! Ah. Oh. oh. I was about to say it's scared and on the run, but it's not it's not on the run, it's just it's just panicking or or something. I'd like to think that it was panicking, but it's bloody not. And it's still got cover. It's got cover of that tombstone. You you can't really move anywhere. Take the shot, you might get lucky. Ouch. That's a good hit. Well, good. It's a laser weapon. It, it, it uses electricity. Being dry is a good thing. I can't use suppression. I don't think I've my I've got enough. Um. Oh, here we go. This looks good. There we go. Need a resupply. Good show. Good show. I'm ready. Okay, Zaren. I want you to pull back to there. Question is, where are the others? Where are the others? Ready to rock. Good to go. Okay. What the hell was that? Hey, it doesn't matter what it is. What it what matters is that when you shoot it in the face, it explodes. Down. Okay, Zaren, you take point and dash to there. That's going to give you the best cover. Well, it's going to give you uh, acceptable cover for the armor that you're bloody wearing, that's for certain. This? Oh, it's going to hurt. <laughs> well, you're basically sprayed an aerosol into his face. I can understand. That, 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 that's going to hurt. I'm 
skirting around the outside of this just simply because we're much less likely to then get cornered so there's something that way ish there's no cover I wish I hadn't destroyed those benches okay I I'm happy for everyone just to get into position then Zaron can do his uh, his crazy dash thing who else is injured? Who needs who needs attention? We're pretty safe around here at the moment. This oh it's gonna hurt. Look sharp. Enemies rolling up. Oh here we go. Couple of floaters. Shouldn't be a problem. They just literally legged it. Well, to be fair, I'm not surprised. Oh, you're not going to hit from there. That's the only problem with you being up front in a situation like this, in, a, in an open area. You don't tend to hit very often. Okay, Mimilol, you're up. You're getting quite a few kills. This, this I approve of. Um. You, Little Miss Suppression. Oh, I can't see shit, basically. He's down. Damn! Are you gonna get like two promotions in one mission or something? Because at this rate, it looks like it. Yeah, another one of them reaction shots that's... Awesome. Holy crap! How did you hit that from there? Mission accomplished. That was good. Oh, I like that. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm suitably impressed. Yeah, yeah, that's good. A bit of a, of a hairy moment now and again, but no, it's generally, generally everything worked out according to plan. Assuming that I had the plan was to just wing it, which it was. Okay, Emilol, you've you've done well. <laughs> you've basically done one mission and you've got four kills to your name. That's good. That is good. Um, and your support, so you get a smoke grenade. Congratulations. And Ralliot, you've been promoted as well. God, you're you're a captain now. You are kicking ass. Smoke grenades have increased area of effect and lots more defense. Oh, they, f they contain powerful stimulants that, <laughs> that make people brave and hit better. Okay, so either we can have grenades that increase the defense or we can have grenades, <laughs> grenades that make people nuts and fearless. It's like full of woad or something. <laughs> no, not that woad did that. It's just a blue plant, but but yeah, some sort of weird psychedelic drugs that make you get into a foamy mouth frenzy. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know. Shall I have psycho drugs or 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 whatever the um, I don't know what would increase your defense? Pea soups. So I have the pea soup as all the psychedelics. I, d I don't know. Psychedelics quite cool. <laughs> But then again, I try not to get people killed, so the will's not going to be that important. Basically, if you're in the smoke cloud and one of your friends dies, you don't care. <laughs> I'm going to go for the dense smoke. Uh. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, I've got customizations that are pending, names and, and all sorts, so I'm going to have to quickly name people. Okay, North America and Africa, people are starting to panic, we but we've got, touch, we've got money. Let's have a look what we've got. Um, the U UK. The uh, Europe is not doing as well as, as I'd like. Do I have any spare satellites? No. Satellite over the US. Satellite is going to be built. Engineering. 
I'm tempted just to turn around and go build two satellites. And that's expensive, but... Well, or... Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit to two more satellites. They're going to take 20 days to build. We need more satellites. Get those sodding things built. Um, hang on, what else is in there? Yeah, nothing particularly interesting. Okay. We've got a council report in 21 days. Satellite there. Heavy laser research. Okay, barracks. I will say one thing. I can't for the life of me remember what customization people requested. Bear, <laughs> bear with me. Right, okay. So, we have um, some customizations to do, which... I've just suddenly realised that although I've spelled alchemist right here, on my spreadsheet I've spelled it completely wrong. I've just transposed at least two alpha numerical thingies, you know. I'm just making no sense now. Okay. Well, you've... Pink, pink boy here has decided that his nickname needs to be Tofu. So he's vegan, I'm assuming. I, I don't know. Um, and gave you a dislike, given me a few suggestions. So I'm going to try the first one that was quite amusing, which is Pussy Destroyer. But it doesn't actually fit in. So I'm going to have to go for the next one, which is just Axel. I assume that's how you want to pronounce it. Um, what else do we have? We've. Yeah, Fabius, you've not got back to me yet. Although, when you watch this video, you probably got back to me like two weeks ago. Because that is how obsessed I am with this game. I cannot help but play it. Um, yeah, there's there's a few that have gotten back to me, but some that haven't. Um, ah, yes, you, you have. Although, um... So, um... Okay, sometimes... Um, so, da, 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 so da, da, da. oh god, you, I, don't, I expect you probably didn't require. Affirmative. Okay. Affirmative. Affirmative. I don't have many people with um, with the high numbers for their voices, so I'm just going to change it randomly because you didn't request one one way or the other. So we've got um, a bit messy and brown. Well. I don't think I'm going to get a huge amount of options for that. To be honest, there's not that much in the way of messy hair. I mean... That sort of vaguely looks messy, but that it, they're all very, very smooth. I don't know. Um, brown, blah, 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 armor tint. You, you basically don't want pink or purple. That's fine. What have I actually got nobody wearing yet. Yellow, I suppose. Cyan colour. Yellow. Got nobody in yellow yet. <laughs> wow, hey. Hey, that's cool. That's like, go faster red and yellow. That is awesome. That is awesome. And it's probably, you're going to hate it, but that's tough. <laughs> Uh, I've got your nickname as well for if and when you um, you ever earn one, but um, not quite yet. And then finally, Mimi Lal, you have uh, gained a promotion, but also we need to... You've, okay, your nickname... Uh, yeah, I mean, I may have to... Obviously, your name is your name, and your nickname needs to be something different, but if you earn it, then I'll email you. So... Light skin colour. So you've got light skin. That's basically as light as it's going to get. Um, wow, blue hair with a ponytail. Fantastic. Okay, that's the closest. So two is a decent ponytail. Ten is an alright ponytail. Ah, oh, ten's actually quite a long one, actually. Okay, hair colour. Blue? Well, well, let's see. I'm a, you see, twenty's a decent blue, but I don't know whether or not you want something a bit darker than that. Because there's nothing 
massively darker than that then. Okay, that is as that's as blue as you're gonna get. It's not dark blue, but it's blue. Um green armor. The hell? Oh, okay, you've got some serious body armor going on there. There we go. Kick ass. Okay. Um I think that's all the customization information that I've got thus far for for the new troop. Um Doc 2's still not gotten back to me. Uh, as of now, you know, as of when I'm recording this, not necessarily at this exact moment. Okay, what I'm going to do, dead quick. Mission control. There we go, heavy lasers, yeah! Right, heavy laser available, laser cannon available, and the Shiv laser project available in the foundry. I don't know whether I'm going to end up building any vehicles, you know, these heavy weapon vehicles. It'd be useful, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to end up doing it or not. Heavy laser requires supplementary power supply, makes it somewhat unwieldy, keep me dealing high damage, blah blah blah. And then we've got a project in the foundry and a laser cannon, which basically slap, strap it to an interceptor and shoot down the UFOs. Okay. I'm going to research the new fighter craft because we are really. I know that the communication thing's a priority, but the new fighter craft has to be done. We need that new fighter craft because our interceptors are outclassed, outgunned. This this vehicle now, with a few laser gunny things, is going to be very useful. In the meantime, oh, I could create some chitin plating for our troops, but maybe not. A heavy laser. Definitely going to build a heavy laser. We only probably need one because we're unlikely to take more than one heavy out on a mission. Just like the laser, it looks like the sniper laser. Unlikely to have more than one sniper. I'm just thinking, what else is there to do? Hang on. Well, I'm just thinking. 130. Hang on a second. Can we buy... No, I've gone over, haven't I? Idiot. Oh well. I guess Zarin or whoever it is that's in assault mode is going to be the one that's the only one that gets to wear the Titan. Oh, hang on, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Barracks, soldiers, Baron. Duh. Duh. Oh, it's boring. I don't know why I did that. We've only really got two medics, haven't we? Okay, that's pretty much everybody neutralised. You know what I mean? Neutral, made neutral, neutral. You see, yeah, that's the correct word. Neutralised. You've been, you've been neutralised. You've made to be neutral. Satellite coverage now available over the United States. Oh, uh. Cool. Because Mila might provide crucial insight into the signing new techniques for regenerating tissue. Get 60 for some mutant corpses. Take the stuff. Go for it. Yeah, because now we can go into engineering. You guessed it. Get some Titan armor. Hoorah! So now we've got two sets of Titan armor. Aren't we lucky? And stuff. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, let's head in there. Where shall we deploy this satellite? Oh, we're getting the satellites in now, aren't we? Um, no, hang on. Let's select a location first. Um, Egypt 70. 80, Nigeria 100. So we could launch it in Nigeria. That then basically covers the four continents that we have to worry about. Well, the four quasi areas, whatever you want to call it. Egypt's panicking, but they only give us 70. We need to look at money. Launch that satellite. Satellite launched. 
Get in there. Get in there! Ah! Badasses! I suppose we should really look at how much a Scilab's gonna be and when we're gonna build it. Because to be fair, it's not something that um, seems to be high on my list of things to do. Do you know what I mean? I still haven't got the officer training school. I mean, I know that it increases the squad size. I'm kind of, kind of happy with the squad size the way it is. I know that sounds a bit crazy. It'd be nice to take more people on a mission, but we're doing all right. You know, inc increasing squad size isn't high on my list of priority. Psionic abilities, on the other hand, it only takes three power as well. Oh, shit. Is that it? I mean, it's expensive, but it only takes three power. Hang on a second, though. Well, no, we can do another power generator there. <laughs> okay. Scan for activity. Oh, more abductions. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. It's via, not via. It's via, via. Sorry. Um. Scientists, money, or engineers. That's normally the way it goes, isn't it? Okay, where is the most panicky? We've got Africa, South America, and North America. So basically, either of the Americas, or Africa. Well, the US is crapping itself. No, it's not crapping itself, but you know what I mean. Um... So basically, Africa's the most at risk, just because we've got a four star, you know, a four panic bar there. So I'm going to go, yeah, but the thing is, is that going to actually give me something? Africa preferably, but if Africa's crap, then I'm going to go, actually then, yeah, we haven't got a satellite there, have we? Africa Preferably. <laughs> Always worth doing. Africa gives us engineers. That's not actually that bad. Mm. It's a shame that the one with the money is kind of not that great. I'd be saying engineers. I'm, I'm saying engineers. I'm going to be tempted at the engineers. But money, you can't say no to money. I can't say no to money. It's money. Money's good. I can build Uber armor for, for people. Money. It's got to be money. Okay, this isn't a massively important mission. So I'm going to send um, patches. Uh, that sounded horrible, that did. I didn't mean that, but it's because you've not, you weren't on the last mission. You weren't on that mission. So, that's why I picked you. Whereas, you know, Alchemist and Archer, yeah, they, they were on the last mission. That sounded terrible. I feel really bad now. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to say horrible things. It just kind of happened, you know? Sorry. <laughs> feel bad now. There we go, we've got a nice mixed squad. I don't feel bad for very long. We've got a nice mixed squad. Um, you get your laser sniper rifle, your sidearm pistol, and your, 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 you're only getting carapace armor. Sorry. Um, assault and heavy. You guys, you guys, you're our frontline troops. Titan armor. Oh, you've got your heavy laser. You're the first to test it in the field. Mm, badass. Um, why I do that. I'm gonna put you with an arc thrower because because live aliens are more entertaining to torture than dead aliens. Okay, you're assault, so guess what you're gonna do? Ah, get your Titan armor in there, baby. Lord of you. Well, you are our support, so med kit obviously. Settle for Carapace, the army you know and love. Familiar with it. Um, oh yeah, I've already 
settled you out with your with your scope. Well, it gives you a bit of a benefit, doesn't it? A bit of a boost. And the alternative is to give you a vest, but in theory, you should be staying behind cover a lot, or climbing up onto roofs when you've not got vertigo, one or the other. Okay, guys and girls, let's get cracking. We've got money to, I mean, um, innocent people to defend. Yes, that's the ticket. Dropship has arrived. Okay then. Let's get down there. Go and splatter some alien Moving brains. Into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're offering us we money. Up a broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Well, thanks for your insightful pep talk, Central. That that pre-mission briefing was was amazing. You know what? I I went into this mission not knowing a clue what was going on, and you've you've just summarised it expertly. I'm under no delusion or illusion or anything as to what this mission's about. Now you've 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 delivered it in a concise manner, and you know, stuff. <laughs> Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Oh, cool fountain. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Wow, thanks for the, the advice. It's really insightful. <laughs> That's gonna have to be it for this episode. <laughs> Until next time, cheerio.